Alright. Why it says 0 0.25? That's your breath alcohol content. You blew a 0.25. That's because of the mouthwash. I keep telling That's you. That's not because of the mouthwash. So you're about six times over the legal limit for a CMV driver, sir. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's because of the mouthwash. I keep telling That's not because Intoxicated truck driver <clears throat> is six times over the legal limit. Shout out to my man, Kelly G, for hooking me up with the footage of this truck driver, intoxicated truck driver that was pulled into the New Mexico Port Authority. My man was drunk, couldn't get his words right, couldn't do nothing right. He got arrested and lost his job and his license right there on the spot. So... Kelly G, thank you very much, man. I appreciate you, brother. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. Who's? Yeah. All right. How you doing today, sir? What's your name? Doing good. What's your name? Johnny? All right, Johnny, I'm Officer Trunco. I'm with the New Mexico State Police, okay? So is there anything in the truck we need to know about? Have any anything any alcohol, any drugs today? No drugs. Okay. Any alcohol today? Yeah. How much have you had? Not not today. Last night. How much did you have last night? Maybe a little bit. A little bit? Okay. Do you have any weapons or anything on you I need to know about? No. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna make sure you're good to go, okay? So we're gonna run through some standardized field sobriety tests. Go ahead and take your headset off. Can you hear me okay? Okay. Do you have any medical issues I need to be made aware of? High blood pressure. High blood pressure, you take medication for that? I'm supposed to, but I don't take it. Okay, when was the last time you took the medication? Maybe like six months ago. So okay. what'd you drink last night? Just a little bit. Maybe beer. Beer you How it? many? Yeah. One. What kind? Well, why is it? And you drove from Los Angeles to here today? Yeah, but I, I slept overnight over there. Okay. So do you know where you're at? Yeah. Where? New Mexico. Okay, so you got to, uh, from Los Angeles to New Mexico today. Alright, we're gonna do some standardized field sobriety tests real quick, okay? Come right over here for me. Alright, sir, for this first test, I want you to put your feet together and your arms down at your side, okay? Feet all the way together. Cool. Do you wear glasses typically or contacts or anything? You do wear glasses? Okay, can you see my finger? Okay. Alright, I just want you to follow my finger with your eyes only and don't move your head, okay? Do you have any questions, sir? Alright, just follow my finger. Ready? Keep looking at it. Okay, we're gonna start this again, okay? Take your breather. Hey, you see this yellow line? You gotta excuse me, you kinda making me nervous. I'm making you nervous? Yeah. Okay, I don't mean to make you nervous, we're just doing the standardized field sobriety test, make sure you're good to go, okay? All right, so we got a nice flat line right here. So I want you to put your left foot on the line. Just your left foot. Left foot? Left foot. I'm gonna take this right foot, and I'm gonna whop you on that side of your face. All right, and I want you to put your right foot in front of your left foot, heel the toe, and then put your arms down at your side. That's hard to do. Okay, is there a reason why you can't do it? Because I'm handicapped. What are you handicapped from? I broke my uh, my leg. You broke your leg? When did you break your leg? In 2010. Okay, do you operate with the handicap stick or anything like that? No, nah, because it's healed up. Okay, so you can operate the CMV fine, right? Alright, the next one's a one leg stand. Do you think you can do that test? Yeah. You can do the one leg stand, but you can't step in the line? Because my leg messed up. My leg messed up. Okay. But you can stand on one leg? I can probably stand on one leg, yo. Okay. Not this one. Okay, I'm going to show you what I want, okay? Okay. So my feet are together, arms down at my side, lift the foot of my choice up. See how my toes pointed out? My arms are here. I want you to count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Do you have any questions? Hey, but listen, if I stand on this leg, it might not work. 
Okay, well, if you want to stand on that leg, that's fine. Did you graduate high school? No. What was the highest grade level you went to? GED. You got a GED? Okay. You could get your CDL license in just four weeks. With being a truck driver, you choose how much money you make. And believe it or not, you don't need a college degree. And if you're looking to start as soon as possible, they offer paid training and sign-on bonuses. Did you graduate high school? No. What was the highest grade level you went to? GED. So I want you to count backwards from the number 47 to 32. You know your alphabet okay? You're not gonna say it backwards, okay? So I want you to start at the letter F as in Frank. Don't sing it, just start at F and end at T as in Tom, okay? F to T. Forward or back? Forward. F to T. L, G, H, I, hold on. A, B, C, D, E, L, G, H, I. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And you say go to what? T, as in Tom. I know my alphabet, man. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, L, L, B, Q, R, F, T, U, V, W, X. So this is going to be the finger dexterity test, okay? Alright, so you can use the tip of your thumb, touch the tip of your finger, all the way down, okay? And when you do it, you're going to count. So just like this, okay? Watch my hand. You're going to go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Do you have any questions? No. I want you to do that two times. Two, two full times. two full sequences. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Man, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Would you take a breath test? I mean, I got some more, what you call it, uh, mouthwash. When's the last time you used mouthwash? A few minutes ago. A few minutes ago? Okay. Do me a favor, okay? Put your hands behind your back. Hello. Yes, sir. And now you're being placed under the... For operating the motor vehicle under the influence. Why are you detaining me? You about to lose your job. You about to lose your job. Get this dance. You about to lose your job because you are detaining me for nothing. You got anything on you that's going to stick, poke me, stab me? No. No weapons on you? What do you have in your pocket here? Money. Money? Change? What do you have in here? I don't know. I think. Let me see. No, you're not reaching in there. What do you have in here? It can't be none but my wallet. It might be a knife in there. Our survey said. You got anything on you that's gonna stick, poke me, stab me? No. You don't trust me? Not right now, sir. You got anything on you that's gonna stick, poke me, stab me? No. I don't understand how you can arrest me and I ain't, you ain't proved nothing. Well, sir, based on the standardized field sobriety tests, the odor of alcohol I'm getting from your breath, how bloodshot and watery your eyes are. I have reason to believe that you're operating the CMV under the influence. My eyes are red because I've been driving for two weeks. Okay. And the odor of alcohol? I don't know what you smell, but I don't smell no alcohol. Okay. Unless it's coming from the mouthwash. So I'm smelling it. So let's see, do you have anything in your mouth? I want you to listen to me, I'm about to tell you something very important. You are, under, you are under arrest for driving under the influence. 
The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you <coughs> to submit a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or a laboratory technician or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency. Do you agree to take our breath test? Okay, let me ask you a question. Okay. Shouldn't it mouthwash affect it? No. It's not going to affect it? Nope. Because it got, that mouthwash got alcohol in it. Right. But it's not going to affect it. Do you agree to take our test? Can I take a blood test instead? Do you rather do a blood test? Yeah. Okay. So I'll read you this, okay? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? I want you to listen to me. I'm about to tell you something very important. You are under arrest for driving under the influence. I am requesting that you consent to have your blood drawn and test and determine the alcohol and or drug content of your blood. You have the right to refuse to consent to my request. If you refuse to consent, you cannot face any criminal penalties for your refusal. Do you understand that right? Say it again. Don't nobody understand the words that are coming out of your mouth, man. You have the right to refuse to consent to my request. If you refuse to consent, you cannot face criminal penalties for your refusal. Do you understand that right? That don't sound right. That's what it says. So you saying I can refuse a blood test? You can refuse a breath test too. But the breath test gonna go on my license. So with the blood. I prefer to take the blood test. Okay. I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. If you are convicted in court of driving while under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence because you refuse to be tested. Do you understand? For the blood test? This is for the breath test. Just know, this went on and on and on and on, bro. So if you want to make more money and uh, keep the money that you make, better call Saul. <laughs> the reason why I don't want to take the breath test is because I've been uh, taking mouthwash. And the mouthwash got alcohol in it. Okay. So that's why I don't want to take that. Okay. I'm going to ask you again. Do you agree to be tested? The blood test would be more efficient. But who's standard? It's, it's, it's pretty much like common sense. Because if I've been taking mouthwash and brushing my teeth with mouthwash and stuff like that. Okay. I'm not smelling mouthwash on your breath. It gotta be what you smell. It's not. I know I, what mouthwash smells like and I know what ethanol, E-T-O-H, smells like on a person. So I'm asking you if you agree to be tested, yes or no? It ain't saying that either. So I take the blood test. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I got alcohol in my system, man. I might even flunk the blood test. But I've been I've been uh doing that mouthwash so I know with the alcohol being in the mouthwash, I'ma basically flunk the breath test. Okay. So you trying to make me flunk. I'm not trying to make you flunk. This instrument right here, it detects the difference between mouthwash and alcohol. It don't say on there I gotta do it. Okay, I'm going to take your actions as a refusal, okay? It's not a refusal. Alright, give me your leg. Sir. Uh, sir? It's not a refusal. Right. Mr. Brooks. You're under arrest. I'm asking, I'm asking I'm a question. Asking. The cost of this additional test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency. Do you agree to take our test? Yeah, but I want the, uh, what you said. Okay. I, you said I get to choose my own position. Yeah. I want that too. So you gonna let me know who to call? I can't tell you who to call. I asked you to sign the ticket. You told me you're not signing. I, but, sir, Put your hands I, I'm your asking you a question. Okay. Only go so far. I need you to lean forward. Put your mouth around the mouthpiece. Take a deep breath. And you'll hear a tone. Keep going till the tone stops. All right. Once again, deep breath. I thought I just took two. It takes two samples, just to be sure. Wow. 
Why it says 0 0.25? That's your breath alcohol content. You blew a 0.25. That's because of the mouthwash, 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 mouthwash. I keep telling That's not because of the mouthwash. If it was mouthwash, did you drink? So the 0 0.25 was your result. What? So the 0 0.25 was your result. What the fuck? So that mean I wouldn't intoxicate? No, that means you're like... I'm, c I'm confused! I'm confused right now, G! So the legal limit for a passenger vehicle is 0 0.08, right? No, that's for a car. Yeah, that's for a car. What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? What you, what you, what you talking about, Willis? For, for, for 18 Willis, 0 0.04. Exactly, 0 0.04, right? Yeah. You blew a 0 0.25. Yeah, Mr. White. Yes, science. That's, that's legal. That's not legal. For a term of two years in prison on that count. As legal is 0 0.04. 0 0.25 is, let's see. So you got to be a 0 0.04, right? So 0 0.04, 0 0.08, 0 0.12, 0 0.16, 0 0.20. So you're about six times over the legal limit for a CMV driver, sir. All right, explain this to me like I'm a two-year-old, okay? Because there's an element to this thing. I just cannot get through my thick head. Make a phone call. Yeah, in just a few minutes, we'll get your phone and stuff once they get done with the inspection. So once we... Because we're probably going to have to tow the semi. All right. Okay. So wait until they finish their inspection and we'll get you everything else you need. You good right now, though? I was out partying, minding my own business. You are under arrest. I'd better call Saul. Hi, I'm Saul Goodman. Did you know that you have rights? The Constitution says you do, and so do I. I believe that until proven guilty, every man, woman, and child in this country is innocent. Better call Saul.